Hi, this is Mike, Family DIY TV on the YouTube, and today I want to show you a quick comparison between these two dimmers. So the Lutreon and the Legrand. So all over my house, I actually have the Legrand switches, and I love them. Um, I needed a dimmer for my for my uh, bathroom and I went to the store and I just picked up this Lutron. I know this is a great company. Uh, they make great products and I just, I didn't, wasn't really thinking and I just got it and installed it. Um, and although it's a great switch, I wanna show you the differences between the Legrand and this Lutreon uh, switch. I think you're gonna notice something. So this is the Lutreon, Lutron, uh, switch. So the first thing you'll notice is it comes with this proprietary um, cover. So there's no screw holes. That looks really nice, super clean. Okay. The dimmer works very well. I have no issues with the dimmer. Um, the one issue I have is other than it not matching really what else I have. So I made a mistake by buying the wrong one. It, I don't, I don't know. I don't, this feels, I don't know if you can hear this. I don't know, there's something about it. It's like, feels like it's loose. And it it is loose inside there. I'm not sure if that's a fair assessment. Um, this is tight, I'll tell you, it's not like things moving. This is tight to the wall. Um, and you can actually take this off and take this whole plate off and you can just put your normal plate on like you have, like one of these if you want. You can put that on. So you don't have to keep that. So it's to be just to be fair, you can just save the inside and put a normal cover on it, all right? But what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna replace this, and see that movement in there? That's why it feels the way it, it does. So what I'm gonna do for comparison purposes, I'm gonna put in the Legrand, is that how you say it? Legrand uh, switch, and we're gonna see how that feels and how that sounds. So once again, that's how it works. It's loose. The dimmer works amazing. I don't have any issues with the dimmer. Okay, we're gonna now move on to the Legrand and then we're gonna finish this up with some final thoughts. Okay, so now we have the Legrand switch installed and I'm gonna play these back to back. So this is the sound that the Legrand makes and the feeling. It's a lot more positive. I'll play the Lutreon right now. I mean, I'll just tell you off the bat, this is very subjective, but this one feels a lot more secure, a lot more solid. The other one, when you pushed it in, it kind of felt like it was loose, honestly. It was felt, I don't know, cheaper. I noticed right away, my wife did not even notice. She thought I was crazy. She still thinks I'm crazy and I'm, that I'm even swapping this out. But I also wanted everything to match. The dimming, I would say, works just as well as um, the other one. Um, Let's talk about price. This one was like 25 bucks. Okay, it comes with two separate faces, which is actually pretty nice. It's smart that they do this because then they need to carry, they, you know, they carry less inventory. They just carry one and, you know, they're able to give it in both colors. It really makes sense to me. I don't know why more manufacturers don't do that. This one is just in white, whatever, no big deal. Um, this one was $35, so 25, 35. Um, I would say ease of install, this definitely wins. The Legrand, uh, you just had some holes in the back, you just put the wire in and screw it. It's almost on, you can't really mess it up. This one, you can't mess it up either, I mean really, but you have to use wire nuts and it's kind of weird. A lot of people out there just have problems with wire nuts, they don't do it right. Um, but when you do a wire nut, you wanna wrap the wire around and then you wanna wrap Screw this on as tight as you can, and then you wanna screw a few more turns so that the wire is actually wrapped around itself and really make sure that it stays secure. Um, so I would say for a normal DIYer, this is a lot more secure, a lot easier to install. Although this is not hard to install. 
Aesthetics, I would say, I don't know. It's kind of hard. If you want to go to, to judge, right? Because if you want to, if you want to, if you like this clean look and that rest of your house is like this, then obviously this is going to be better for you. Um, I have these types of switches in my house, the covers with the holes. They don't bother me. Um, this is a little too ultra modern for me. So I don't like, you know, that was one of the first things I noticed about it. Um, and this is my fault that I bought this. Um, so other than that, um, I'd say they're an even swap. The price, obviously, this one wins. It's only 25 bucks opposed to 35 bucks. This one you get at Home Depot. This one you get at Lowe's. You might be able to get this one at Lowe's too um, and some other stores. Uh, you can get them both on Amazon, actually. I know that. Um, so that's kind of my my uh, my review, my thoughts about this. Again, this feels a lot better to me, at least. It's very subjective. Um, and I'm going to stay with these Le Grand. I'm going to put these in the rest of my house. I'm actually working on that today. All right. So I hope that this helped you uh, distinguish between the two. Um, and I would suggest if you're going to sw start swapping out switches, just find one brand and stick to that. Why would you keep switching around? Just like if you're buying a power tool, switch with stick with one battery type. OK. All right. So I hope that helped you. Um, and if it did, please like, please subscribe. I'm Mike and I'm out.